Hi everyone, this is Spring, the Fiber Enthusiast, here for a little crochet stitch tutorial. This is Little Pyramid Stitch. It is a fun, easy stitch pattern that could be used for lots of really cool things. And I found it very interesting and I thought, hmm, I bet others would find this interesting also. So you wanna give it a go? Okay, so what are some of the things that we will need? Well, we'll need some yarn and you can use whatever yarn you wanna use as long as your hook is appropriately matched to the yarn that you're using. Um, also, you're gonna need your crochet hook, of course, and a pair of scissors and probably a needle and to sew those in, maybe even some stitch markers. Just grab a whole bunch of stuff and let's get going. <laughs> okay, so I am using Karen Simply Soft in the colorway Gold Ombre. I think it's more orange. I mean, right there, uh, yeah, it's more orange than gold to me, but anyway. Um, I'm also using an H hook, a size five. And let's get into the details. So this stitch pattern is done in multiples of four plus one. Now, when you're starting from a base chain, you're gonna add an additional one. So we're gonna go ahead and chain 18 chains to get started. That's our multiples of four plus one, plus one more because we're starting from a chain. And now if we were starting from a project already, you would be looking into multiples of four plus one. So that's what that means and why there's an extra one on your base chain because we got to turn the corner to start working. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and chain 18. Now that I have 18, I'm going to turn my work on its side and I'm going to single crochet into the second stitch from my hook, the second bump from my hook. So here's the first one and here's the second one. So I'm gonna single crochet into that. Okay, so now we're started. Now you need to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And now we're going to do a series of stitches down the back side of that chain six. So we're going to skip two stitches and place a single crochet into the third stitch from the hook. So one, two, and here's the third stitch from the hook. I'm going to place a single crochet. Okay. The next one gets a half double crochet. The next one gets a double crochet. And the next one gets a treble crochet. And I am using US terms. There's our treble crochet. Now you're simply going to skip three and single crochet into the fourth stitch. So one, two, three, and four. Place a single crochet in that fourth stitch. 
Now we're gonna repeat what we just did three more times. Chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Turn it sideways, skip two and single crochet into the third chain down, half double into the fourth one, double into the fifth one, and treble into that sixth chain. And now we're gonna pick up our chain and you're gonna skip three and single crochet into the fourth. Four. All right, let's do that again. Chain six, one, two, three, four, five and six. Turn it sideways, skip two and single crochet into the third. And I'm using the back bumps. Half double into the next. Double into the next. Treble into that last one. There we go. And now we're gonna bring our chain back up and skip three and single crochet into the fourth. One, two, three. There we go. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six. And single crochet in that third stitch from your hook. Half double into the next. Double into the next. And treble into that last one. There we go. And now we're going to skip the next three. One, two, three. And single crochet into that very last one. Okay. Now you're going to chain six and turn your work and place a single crochet into the top of that point that you made. So single crochet. Now chain three, one, two, and three and skip over to the next point and single crochet. And we're repeating that across. One, two, three. Skip over to the next one, single crochet. Chain one, two, three. And skip over to the last one. Just like that. Now we're going to double treble down here to this single crochet. So one, two, three wraps around your crochet hook. Go into that single crochet, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through the last two. And now you have completed your base chain rows one and two. Let's move on to row three, where we begin a new set of these pyramid triangle looking things. Okay, so for row three, you're gonna chain 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Turn your work over and at the top of this very first single crochet on top of the very first triangle you come to, you're gonna place a single crochet there.
Okay, now we're started. We're going to chain six and repeat what we did down here. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Single crochet in the third chain from your hook. Half double in the next. Double in the next. And treble in the last. Okay, bring your work back up and we're gonna skip this chain three and single crochet to the top of this point where that single crochet is. And then we're gonna repeat this two more times and I'll meet up with you once you have repeated two more. Okay, to end this, we are going to chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and double treble, so wrap around your hook three times. You're gonna skip one chain from the last place that you single crocheted. You're gonna skip one chain and into the next chain, you're gonna place a double treble. Okay, so that is the end of row three. Chain one and turn your work for row four. Single crochet back into that stitch and chain three. One, two, three. Single crochet into the top of that first pyramid that you come to. Chain one, two, three. Reach over to your next pyramid and single crochet. Chain one, two, three. Reach over to the next pyramid and single crochet. So we finished our last little pyramid there. We're gonna chain three more. One, two, three. And then down here between the bottom of the pyramid and the start or the end of that chain, you're gonna count back five stitches and place a single crochet into that fifth stitch or fifth chain. So right in the middle, basically. One, two, three, four, and five. And I'm gonna go under those two V legs there. There we go. And single crochet. And then we have one more row, which is our fifth row. And those are the rows that you will repeat, rows two through five. Okay, so let's begin our last row, row five, chain one, turn your work and place a single crochet back into that same stitch. And now we're going to chain six. Okay, now that we have our chain six, we're just simply gonna start repeating the same as we did down here. With our first set of pyramids, we're going to skip those first three stitches and single crochet, or skip the first two stitches and single crochet into that third stitch. Then a half double in the next. A double in the next. and a treble in the last. Then you're gonna skip the chain three space and single crochet into the top of the next pyramid to that single crochet that's above the pyramid. 
chain six again and continue working those pyramids across. You will do that three more times. Okay, so there you have it. You have your five rows. We have our base chain. Then we have our first row of pyramids, our first row of chain threes, our second row of pyramids, our second row of chain threes, and the last row of pyramids. And you're just going to repeat rows two, three, four, and five for however big you want your project to be. So again, this is Little Pyramid Stitch. I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial and have you ever done this stitch pattern before? I just found it so much fun and so interesting. And I wanted to bring it to you just in case you've never seen it before. I'm thinking I might be doing a pattern with this stitch incorporated in it. Kind of like it. All right, so be blessed, be a blessing, and bye for now.